All right, how you doing today, folks? Today we're gonna to take a look at this WordPress plugin ad inserter. It's one of my favorite plugins. Uh, check the link in the description of this video. Take this blog post. I have a bunch of uh, really cool plugins and everything that I use. Also, check out the link in the video description for uh, my number one recommendation for a solid affiliate marketing education, web hosting support, and so much more. Huge community of online community of uh, entrepreneurs and helpful people and you get two free websites and you get our free membership so there's no cost to join you don't even need a credit card to sign up it's great check that out as well in the link in the description don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit the notification button as well be notified when new videos come out so anyways let's get into this plugin um ad inserter you want to do a search for that and your ad plugin page of wordpress and you have this one that pops up it's called wordpress ads and ad sent plugin dash ad inserter Looks like that. It's by uh, Ingor Funa. I think that pronounced that right. I'm not sure. Anyways, it's activated already in my plugins. Um, you want to go to when you're in the plugins menu, you just want to hit settings or go to settings here. And there's add inserter. And it also install on top as well if you choose to. So basically, uh, it looks like this. It's a really cool plugin. It's very useful. You can add. Um, so much stuff and you have so much control over where you place stuff on your website um i'm just going to show you a few things for example one block one here um i'm just going to put in a little disclaimer for the bottom of my web posts and then for example we have posts here there's a lot of settings lots of settings but pretty much you know they're easy a lot of them are just set up if you want to get crazy and go crazy then go crazy but for now we're just gonna keep it pretty simple um, so these are gonna be on all posts I can do it on home page search page category page tag page and by the way depending on your theme as well let's look at this real quick click on this thing here um, and get to go check I'm just using the, the 2016 theme from WordPress and it's gonna check all the available spots where you can place it which is really helpful as well because some things are different you know so that's really cool. You just do a quick check and then, you know, determine if you can use it in certain areas or not. But anyways, so we have a before post, after posts, or I mean before content, before paragraph, um, after paragraph. So you can even do it after paragraph one, two, three, just change that number. Before image, if the, your first image on there and all that stuff. After image, after content, after post, before, episode, there's so many, there's, yeah, there's a lot. I'm gonna do it um, after content and that's gonna be right before the comments and right after the content on the page. I'm just gonna leave the alignment by default. There's a bunch of settings in there. I'm just gonna leave it default. Um, a few other things you can do, pretty much that's where I want it, but other, other things you can do is there's filters, there's word count, like maybe some pages you don't want it on with less than this amount of words. Um, there's scheduling, so after 30 days or wh whatever you put, you know, uh, publishing, that it'll show up um, there's just a bunch of options. You could say that it's an ad if you want. Um, just a bunch of stuff. So, but anyways, I'm going to leave it as ad, as after content. And then I'm going to go back up here. So I'll save those settings. Okay, so this is a demo site that I created. Nothing too fancy. Um, as you can see, there's nothing under the content right now. It should pop up there once I refresh the page. So yeah, the closure disclosure of material so that's that's pretty cool um that's just a little disclosure thing but let's go back here and i'm gonna show you something else here we go to the block two so it's a completely different ad and i can go here and just do a, i do it in white background and, and i can do this where i'm going to pop up the, the editor the html editor you can put html in here as well and i'm going to add media for some reason the top's cut off on my web browser here but add media is right there um, I just have this banner ad I made real quick. And of course you could put a URL to wherever you want to go. I'm just going to do this for the demo. Full size, insert into post. There you go. So that is, um, and now I'm just going to put use. Again, for some reason the top is cut off, but it says use right there. Reset or cancel. I'm just going to use that. So that's the code that I'm going to use for um, the second part here. All right, so I can actually now copy that code because I'm just going to use it for the, the next demo. 
like I said, there, there's a billion settings in here, and there's even a pro version that you can get even more stuff. But I'm just doing this for the demo purpose, try to keep this quick. Um, let's go back. Let's create a third block. Actually, wait, go back to two. We want to put that in before the post. So that's going to be above the post, above the header and the title of the post. Keep the alignment the same. And then we'll go into three here. We'll put that same code because we just want to, you know, and we'll do that after the content. Save all settings. Now that's like a standard banner ad, but it, sometimes the things where we resize it, like it does here, I believe. First page. So there, there's it above the content or above the post, and there's it below. It even goes below the the one I put. The first time I could do this all in one block there since it's both the same, but I'm just showing you that it kind of resizes it to whatever you need it to be. So that's really cool. Um, just a quick demo of all this. It's like I said, there's so many different settings you could put it after this paragraph, after a certain word, depending. You know, there's so many settings. It's a really cool plugin. It's worth checking out. Check out the. Uh, plug-in page here as well and check out my number one recommendation for making money online you will not be disappointed you get a free membership there's nothing to lose there's no commitment there's no uh, credit card needed you just sign up and you're good to go and check it out there's free lessons and everything you get in contact with me as well i will contact you once you sign up because that's all automated then we'll be in touch so anyways that's all for now don't forget to subscribe hit the notification button and i will talk to you soon